Good morning everyone, happy Sunday and welcome to our Rhapsody reading. I hope you're on your way to church. <laughs> so today is the 8th of November and I really like the title for today. I smiled when I opened it. The title is, He Prepared a Wonderful Life for You. And our shouting scripture is from Ephesians 1 verse 3 and it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Pastor Chris says, God is good, God is kind, and God is love. He is our great heavenly Father, who long before we came on the scene, prepared a wonderful and exciting life for us, a life of success, victory, peace, and prosperity. He didn't create you to suffer or struggle your way through life. He prearranged a good life of blessings for you. That's like what he did when he created Adam. He first created a beautiful garden where everything Adam would require was made available. Then he created Adam and put him in the garden to inhabit inhabit it and enjoy the goodness therein. God brought you forth at such a time as this and planned ahead for you like every caring father would. Therefore, always acknowledge and profess in agreement with him that indeed you are blessed of the Lord, walking in preordained pathways of greatness, excellence, and productivity. Hallelujah. The Lord cares so much for you. Up to the strands of your of hair on your head are not two sparrows sold for the farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are more value than many sparrows. Matthew ten verse twenty nine to thirty one. That's why he doesn't want you worried or fretful over anything in life. He's aware, you, he's aware you require money, clothing, food, shelter, and all the necessities of life, and has already made them yours. Glory to God. He said in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 21, All things are yours. Believe and accept it, for it's true. Live in the consciousness that God has truly made everything you'd ever require for a triumphant life available to you in Christ Jesus. Indeed, He's gracious and kind. Hallelujah. You may repeat the confession after me. Say, I'm a new creation, called to inherit a blessing. Empowered to prosper in everything. I do. There is no dryness, stagnation, lake, or unproductivity in my life. For I've been chosen and ordained for a life of praise, joy, excellence, victory, and glory in Christ Jesus. I've become the conveyor of God's blessings and effulgence of His glory. Hallelujah. And for further study, you may read Psalms 106 verse 1 and Genesis 12 verse 2 and Ephesians 1 verse 3. Have a lovely Sunday and see you again tomorrow with another Rhapsody reading. God bless you.